Alright, what's up people? This is Sifurian. Right now we're going to be jumping back into Banshee. We're on episode 1 of season 3. The final ever season. 10 more episodes, man, and that's it. We're done. I am going to be checking out the, the web series. Apparently they're like meant to be prequels or something. I am going to be checking those out afterwards. But I don't know like how many episodes there are or how long they are. So I guess we're just going to have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now... um. Going into this season, I, I think things are going to kind of change a little bit. Like, Rabbit, um, Rabbit's dead now. So, obviously, I think that whole entire storyline has kind of come to an end. And I think going into this final season, I think it's going to focus very heavily on Proctor and him trying to get revenge on Hood for having him arrested and, and everything. Plus, there's the whole fallout of... Um, Alex Longshadow being killed as well by Rebecca. There's bound to be some type of like repercussions from that. And of course that is going to be like the main reason why his sister Nola will come back into the show. It will be to get revenge. And I'm still shocked that Hood has kept his identity all secret and everything, you know. It would be so cool if the, like, the show actually ends and they still don't know who he really is. <laughs> Because we don't know yet. Yeah, I'm just really eager just to jump into this season. I'm going to try and binge watch a little bit now. I've got shit tons of editing to get done. But yeah, we're going to get into this. Let's do this, man. Like he's just fucking with him. Was he just leading him into a trap? What's up, Hondo? You guys got nothing on me. You killed a cop. Allegedly. You got nothing tying me to that nigger friend of yours. Okay, why don't you see if you make it stick? You killed our friend. We're not gonna arrest you. Oh shit. You're fucking cops. Okay, arrest me. See any badges? You're the fucking sheriff! Allegedly. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh shit. They did the right thing, but oh shit. <sighs> oh shit, okay. So I guess her and Gordon are done. Maybe you should really think about getting a new place. It has a certain old school charm, no? No. <laughs> We're just two adults having sex in a motel room. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Come here. Great sex. Always room for improvement. Oh, you know Hood, man. <laughs> you hear that? What? Quiet. You missing Joe? No. <laughs> I'm just saying how nice and quiet it's been since you got back from your little trip to New York last month. Okay, it's been a month since the end of last season. Okay. Yes? In regard to the matter we discussed, you should come down to the basement. Now? Yes. Oh, shit. Are they... Okay. <laughs> I still come in every day expecting to see him up there. Yeah, me too. The new guy. Uh, listen, I know that I have some pretty big shoes to fill here. Huge. Yeah, 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 I get that. But all I did was answer an ad. I'm sorry, this can't be easy for you. And I gotta tell you, after working six years for KPD, 
It's great to be working in an actual functioning police station. Functional. <laughs> <laughs> We executed a man. Oh, he killed one of us. I know that. You've done this sort of thing before. What? Killed a man? No. Executed him. He'll be okay. Now let's go. Let's just not make a habit of it, okay? I... Wow. <clears throat> How is my granddaughter doing? She's fine. Mm-hmm. She's doing real fine. <laughs> oh my god. The fire trials are a sacred red bone tradition to prove yourself a worthy leader. And the red bones must change with them. Wrong. I'd have fed any who's fucking gonna show up. Big beasty fucking badass. We are still being raped and plundered by the white man like we have been for 500 years. What exactly is it you think we're going to celebrate? You left, Chayton. I'm in charge. You could just step down. Would you? <laughs> now, fuck you, man. Come on. Oh shit. We done? Wow. Just like that. It's time. We took something back. Where the fuck has he got planned? I gotta get back. Just have a drink with me. I'm, I'm on duty. I was on duty. That's why we got divorced. Oh, no, we, okay. We got divorced because you were fucking Elliot Granger. No, I was fucking Elliot Granger because you were never home. Classic chicken and the egg debate. It's the ex-wife. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Oh shit. Okay. Feisty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was thinking, I'll bet HUD turns up. I see an alarm on the door, window. Nope. So how did I get here so fast? See that little white box up there? It's a sound sensor. <laughs> the register is also connected to the alarm. So you would have been better to take the whole thing and open it when you got clear. Although... If there is any real cash left overnight, it's gonna be in the safe, which is also bolted to the floor. So, unless you know how to crack a safe. Nope. Well, then there's really nothing in here worth getting arrested for. Unless, of course, that was the point. You think I wanted to get caught? Self-destruction runs in the family. Well, so mm -hmm. you're making daddy jokes, do you think? So cool, he's kind of teaching them and giving them advice on how to steal shit. <laughs> My God. I don't know what you've been up to, but uh, I just had sex with my ex-wife. Again. <laughs> what are you doing here? I stopped by to see the kids. Found them here alone, so I decided to stay and have dinner with them. Where's Deva? She went to bed hours ago, Carrie. It's past midnight. Let's not do this. This isn't the whole point of getting a divorce, so we don't have to fight. How can you not realize that you are risking the well-being of your children? What is it with you, some sort of addiction or something? You would know. Oh. 
Well, he thinks she's upstairs asleep in bed. <laughs> oh dear. The point is, you just take it easy on your mom. She lied to me my whole life. No, she tried to keep you safe. She left everything. Her whole life. Gave it all up. Mm -hmm. Everything. She did that for you. When did you know about me? First time I saw you. You came here for her. But I stayed for you. Oh. Where'd you find her? She was just out with some other kids. Yeah, well, thanks for bringing her back. Yeah, have a good night. Hood. <clears throat> Carrie promised to tell me everything, but when it came to you, nothing. Whatever your secrets are, they were worth breaking a promise to her husband. Wow. You ended my marriage, please. Leave me my daughter. Hmm. I don't care who made her. I'm a... I'm her father. Oh, man, I get it. I really do. Like, for, like, the last 15 years, he's raised that girl like he... Like she was his own, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. That was a nice cut, man. <laughs> I didn't notice that until bam. Now Long Shadow is dead. We'll be coming for you, white girl. You and Proctor. Or thinking about it, that might actually be a pretty cool fucking fight. Him against fucking Proctor's dude. Um, that might actually be a pretty epic fucking fucking fight, man. <laughs> because they've kind of like sold them both as like complete badasses. Like, man. Road. That's near Camp Genoa. We'll be running exercise. Not without notifying us. We're on. We're close by. We're on it. It's fucking deadly with that bow, man. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Here. You're Colonel Stowe, sir. Okay, well, I need to see him. There were four Marines killed on the road earlier today. About eight miles from here, I'm sure you heard about it. Yes, sir. Well, this is a homicide investigation. Colonel Stowe! Oh, shit! That's the guy fucking Anna's been fucking, right? Or Kerry? Fuck. <laughs> Basically a clearing house for all the contraband that gets shipped out of the war zones. Guns, valuables, drugs, you name it. And cash. Tax dollars at work. Whether we're buying guns off the street. We got half of Afghanistan on the damn payroll. What money we don't use half. Oh shit. Right. He's gonna end up trying to steal that shit, ain't he? No, we don't move cash in trucks. We contract armored vehicles for that. Those were mostly uh, confiscated automatic weapons, AKs and M4s, headed to a Fed facility to be destroyed. Great. So now the Red Bones are on like the Taliban. Me, then. Sheriff, what I appreciate the visit, and the fact that you and your deputies tried your best to stop these people. But the moment they killed my Marines and stole government property, this became a matter for the military. NCIS will lead the investigation with the FBI and the BIA. And that's a lot of fucking letters. And the last thing you want is to be getting caught up in the middle of it. Wow, I like that. It's a lot of fucking letters. And the last thing you want to do is get caught up in the middle of them. <laughs> He's casing the place now. He's looking at all for all the cameras. And <laughs> the Marine base, Camp Genoa. They're moving cash by the truckload. 
millions of dollars. If they move in that kind of money, they still gonna have military grade security systems. Yeah. If only we knew someone who could hack into the military network. <laughs> Where's my man at, man? Oh, mate, you're fucked. Fuck me! That was not really a good time. Everything okay? How'd the fat out thing go? Up in fucking smoke. You know, I got something might cheer you up. I highly doubt that. What the fuck, Job? Hold on. Is this all the money? Motherfucker sat on his own grenade! Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. I just had eyes on eight to ten million in unwashed U.S. dollars. I hate you. You know that? I fucking hate you. Oh, he's coming back to Banshee. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> I do love Joe, man. Just... The actor's just nailed it perfect, man. I don't think he's coming back here. <laughs> Look at you, sugar. Already trying to cut me out. <laughs> that your driving outfit? <laughs> yes, it is. And fortunately, it's also my don't take any shit outfit. So whatever it is you're thinking about saying, swallow it and pour me a fucking whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the Marines I'm worried about. It's the Mercs. The Mercs? You didn't say nothing about no motherfucker. What kind of Mercs? Well, the bad kind. We talking about fucking commandos. They'll never see us. Oh, ah, nope. <laughs> so that's the whole setup for the whole entire season, isn't it? Them trying to steal that money and deal with Proctor. Bet yeah. Oh shit! Okay. I can see her fucking up Rebecca. But then again, Rebecca might be that fucking crazy that she might actually kill her. Oh shit. Oh, go on, next episode. <laughs> next one. Oh my god, this is so fucking good. I am so gonna miss this show once I finish this, these last 10 episodes. Yeah, I, I reckon this whole entire season will be her trying to steal that fucking money. You know what I mean? Because he came to Banshee to get those diamonds and get the cash. And it's gonna end with them leaving with the cash. Yeah, we're not ready for war, man. Wow, wow. Building a fucking army, man. Yeah, like I said, right? I reckon... I reckon this whole season will be HUD planning and arranging the robbery of all that money. I can see him probably doing it quite early, though. Like, maybe, like, episode six, episode seven, and then the last few episodes is dealing with the fallout of the... Um, army mercenary guys like coming to try and get the money back and everything and at the same time HUD's having to deal with that and deal with Proctor and and everything that's going on there or Proctor could be like completely busy and occupied with um that's Chayton right the guy who's just at the end then what's the name of his right hand man isn't his name Clay Clayton is it I've got to check. I've got to check. And I hate 
doing this, but we're, we're in the final season now, so let's just check. Okay, so the actual character is called Clay Burton. I'm pretty sure I've called him fucking Clayton at some point. No, but Chayton Littlestone is, is the, the beastie fucking dude. <laughs> anyway, I think a fight between them two would be fucking epic because the show was like constantly like showing them up as like two complete badasses. And and I, I I think a fight between them two would be epic as fuck. And now that Nola's back as well, I can see Nola, uh, cause she's smart. I'm sure she'll kind of like figure it out that like her brother Alex was a smart guy. He's not gonna just drop his guard around just anybody. You know what I mean? Obviously he was with a woman at the time of his death. So maybe she'll put two and two together and think like maybe it was Rebecca, like and go after her. With it being like the final season, I expect this one to be fucking huge. Really huge. I'm glad my man Job is back. I fucking love Job. I've done from fucking day one. Kerry looks like she's going through some shit at the minute. Plus, like with the whole thing with her son, Max, like he still probably needs like health care and, and money and stuff. So that's why she's probably still doing jobs. Because we saw her like doing a job earlier, you know. Um, so maybe she's still doing a few things on the side. And I'm pretty sure when HUD comes to her with this this plan of stealing the money, she's going to be up for it. But because she's been sleeping with the fucking general, it's that, that's going to complicate things. Or HUD can use that as a way to get her on the inside and get information and, and stuff. Yeah, I think like this show started with HUD coming into Banshee. I think it's going to end with him leaving Banshee for good. Hopefully with the money. You know what I mean? I can see Kerry probably staying behind because of her kids. I can't really see her leaving and, and taking the kids. Like, granted, she don't have to worry about Rabbit anymore. Like, like she could go and start a new life with the kids somewhere else. But there's there's the whole thing with Gordon as well. Like, she can't just uproot her, like her and the kids and just leave because of Gordon. So, I think she'll stay. I think Sugar will stay because of his bar and everything. Unless his bar gets destroyed at some point. And he ends up leaving with Hood. Or just going off with the money, taking his share and like retiring somewhere. You know what I mean? Shit, here I am trying to figure out how they're going to do the finale and end the season. <laughs> but with it being like the final season, anything goes. Anyone can die. You know? Oh man, I'm so pumped to get deep into this. I'm going to watch episode two right now. And hopefully within the next few days, I'm going to binge watch the next few episodes. And hopefully by the time you guys watch this on YouTube... I would be fully finished with Banshee. Yeah. I should be com like completely finished. All 10 episodes filmed and, and everything ready to go. Well, ready to be edited. Yeah, because I kind of want to get this show done because Stranger Things is starting soon. So, like, like I want to have, like, time free to film that and, and everything. Um, plus, there's that one show, uh, Chernobyl. Everyone keeps banging on about and, and I'm... I think I'm going to have to check that out. But once again, by the time you guys watch this, I'm going to have that already filmed or be halfway through filming, I think. Yeah. Plus, I'm planning on doing like a load of Patreon exclusive, like full length, like reactions to go into the future. I've got so much, so much planned for June and July and, and everything. Like, it's going to be ridiculous, man. Yeah, okay, I'm going to wrap this up, jump into episode two. So for now, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sif Furion, and I'll catch you in the next one, man. Yeah.